Morning. Our, tri our triune God has sent us a bird. Two birds. Tomorrow there'll be three. Welcome, creatures of God. Pentecost doves of love. Well, we do ask for your prayers to be with the Andrews family. Uh, Chuck Andrews, his father, passed to the church triumphant yesterday. And services will be Tuesday, we believe. So please keep the Andrews family in your prayers. Are there other announcements, joys, or concerns? Please. Yes. Okay. O N. Okay. Rhonda Sherbine. We're keeping Rhonda Sherbine in our prayers. We'll send her a dove. Tomorrow is my mom's birthday. <laughs> and Dana had a Dana Kleinsmith had a birthday. Any other birthdays? Pastor Camberg and Jen Speck. So happy birthday, you three. Trinitarian. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, God bless you. Happy birthday to you. And many more. <laughs> They're getting ready for vacation Bible school. The birds have heard. <laughs> Good morning. Um, just a couple announcements. We still have uh, some things left on our sign-up sheet for our Vacation Bible School dinner, if anyone would like to sign up for that. And thank you all who have already done so. Um, and we also have announcements coming from our craft station. We are looking for clean and empty soup cans and clean and empty tin, like, coffee cans. And we are also looking for small boxes and toilet paper rolls. And if anyone would like to come and help us out for crafts just two days this week, everything is pre-cut, everything is ready for you, and we just need someone in there uh, just to make sure the kids are gluing the projects and not their fingers. Thank you. And I also have the Skittles prayers, if any of you haven't got that yet. And thank you for, for continuing to pray for Vacation Bible School. Please stand as we continue to praise God. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, full of compassion and mercy, abounding in steadfast love. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins, and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Eternal God, our creator, in you we live and move and have our being. Look upon us, your children, the work of your hands. Forgive us all our offenses and cleanse us from proud thoughts and empty desires. By your grace, draw us near to you, our refuge and our strength. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. 
Since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit given to us. In the mercy of Almighty God, Christ died for us while we were sinners, and for his sake, God forgives us all our sins. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Together we pray, Almighty Creator and ever-living God, we worship your glory, eternal, three in one, and we praise your power, majestic, one in three. Keep us steadfast in this faith, defend us in all adversity, and bring us at last into your presence, where you live in endless joy and love, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated for the readings.
The first reading is from Genesis 1 through 2, 4a. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning the first day. And God said, Let there be a dome in the midst of the waters, and let it separate the waters from the waters. So God made the dome and separated the waters that were under the dome from the waters that were above the dome, and it was so. God called the dome sky, and there was evening and there was morning the second day. And God said, Let the waters under the sky be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. God called the dry land earth, and the waters that were gathered together he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let the earth put forth vegetation, plants yielding seeds and fruit trees of every kind on earth that bear fruit with the seed in it. And it was so. The earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seed of every kind, and trees of every kind bearing fruit with the seed in it. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning the third day. And God said, Let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate the day from the night, and let them be for signs, and for seasons, and for days, and for years and let them be lights in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth. And it was so. God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night and the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to give them light upon the earth, to rule over the day and over the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning the fourth day. And God said, Let the waters bring forth swarms of living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the dome of the sky. So God created the great sea monsters and every living creature that moves of every kind, with which the waters swarm, and every winged bird of every kind. And God saw that it was good. God blessed them, saying, be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the sea and let the birds multiply on the earth. And there was evening and there was morning, the fifth day. And God said, let the earth bring forth living creatures of every kind, cattle and creeping things and wild animals of the earth of every kind. And it was so. God made the wild animals of the earth of every kind and the cattle of every kind and everything that creeps under the ground of every kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make humankind in our image, according to our likeness, and let them have the dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the wild animals of the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps under the earth. So God created humankind in his image. Please, with, please read with me Psalm 8. O Lord our God, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You whose glory is chanted above the heavens, out of the mouths of infants and children. You have set up a fortress against your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars you have set in their courses, what were the myrtles that you should be mined, human beings that you should care for them? Yet you have made them little less than divine. With glory and honor you crown them. You have made them rule over the works of your hands. You have put all things under their feet, all flocks and cattle, even the wild beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatever passes among the paths of the sea. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name 
in all the earth. The second reading is from the Second Corinthians 13, 11 through 13. Paul writes, Finally, brothers and sisters, farewell. Put things in order, listen to my appeal, agree with one another, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the saints greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Gospel according to St. Matthew, the 28th chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Please be seated. Are there any kids to join me and help me out? Well, you gonna thank me? Are you gonna thank me for letting the birds in? <laughs> Next week we might have rabbits. What do you think? We'll have different birds each, each week throughout the summer. Is that okay? No. No? We'll have different animals, I'm sorry. They said rabbits aren't birds. <laughs> They're quick. All right? Are there mysteries that you think about? Can you imagine that somebody looked up at the moon and said, I wonder how we're going to get up there. And then they thought about it. And they developed a method to get there. Hmm? Did you look out and say, oh, there's enough air for me to breathe today. And then you started breathing? Or did you just automatically breathe? You think about these things? Where does the air come from? Would you know it if there wasn't air? You just see it and you pretend. Yeah, we're bored by it. We just believe it's going to be there. Do you drink water? How do you know it's good to drink? He's flying. Yeah. How do we know? You know what goes good with dove? Spaghetti squash. Try it. There's all kind of questions we have. Hmm? Yeah. I want to encourage you to keep your mind sharp and question and be curious because there's lots of answers out there that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit want to share with us. Amen? Now, you are in two groups of three. Isn't that interesting? That's neat. Thank you, Jesus, for helping us to be curious and to question. Amen. Thank you for helping. Take care. <laughs>